Hi, this is Tommy, and today we are looking at the Grand Design Reflection 100 Series 27BH fifth wheel. The 100 Series is brand new for this year, and we're pretty excited about this Reflection 100 Series wheeling in here for the first time for us to get our first view of it and for me to be able to provide you with a video tour of this all new 100 Series Reflection. So as we look through this on the outside and on the inside, I'm going to be opening up uh, storage compartment doors, cabinets, closets. You're going to be able to see a thorough look inside and out of this fifth wheel. But stick around because at the end of this video tour, I'm going to provide you with some of my top takeaways, things that really stood out to me. Now, if I do not mention something that stood out to you, please leave those down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't yet liked and subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do that now. I would truly appreciate that. If you want information about discounts, pricing, availability of this model, I have all of my contact information down below. Please reach out to me directly. I hope you enjoy this video tour.
Okay, thank you for watching the video tour. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna share with you a few things about the exterior that stood out to me and a few things that stood out to me about the interiors of this Reflection 100 series fifth wheel. If I do not mention something that really stood out to you, I would love to hear from you, so please leave those comments down below. Also, um, I would appreciate you subscribing and liking to this channel and sharing this with a friend. I would appreciate that. And if you want to reach out to me directly about pricing, current uh, discounts and incentives, if you are in the market for a fifth wheel, in other words, please reach out to me. I'd be glad to help you along those lines. So all of my contact information is down below in the description of this video. Don't hesitate to reach out with any direct questions about this model or feedback about this video. So now things that stood out to me about the exterior of this particular model, they put out this Reflection 100 series and I just expected the content to be a whole lot less than let's say the 150 series or the, uh, the Reflection, uh, the full-fledged Reflection fifth wheel. But anything that Grand Design has put out in the past, uh, we've also grown to expect uh, that they're gonna put out a great product. So I wasn't sure just hearing about this um, 100 series, I wasn't sure how it was going to arrive. And I was very surprised when it got here, some of the features that stood out to me on this half ton towable fifth wheel, it's only 8,000 pounds, like 8,000 and some odd pounds. It's, it's less than 8,100 pounds and it still gets the auto leveling system. So that's something that really stood out to me. You have the auto leveling and also the suspension package on this. You get the Moride CRE 3000 suspension on these axles. So you, um, you've got some, some great upgrades, some really big upgrades that you used to honestly only see in luxury model, bigger fifth wheels back a decade ago. So really nice big things to see here. Auto leveling, CRE 3000, more ride suspension. You have the Goodyear American made tires. Those things absolutely stood out to me, but also the amount of storage you get in this small fifth wheel, that big compartment on the outside on the back wall that I opened up, nice open storage there. Of course, you've got really nice pass-through storage as well here at the front but the flooring that they used here in the front storage really stood out to me, that composite uh, style uh, floor, flooring. It's just a really nice look and uh, easy to clean when it comes to how they've laid that out on that storage floor. So just really some big things that um, stood out to me on the exterior. On the interior, I walk in and the first thing that really stands out to me is the amount of kitchen counter space. And then they give you the optional extension to lower or to raise uh, next to the sink. So you've already got a ton of counter space, but then they give you that, that counter extension that you can pop up or down to give you even more counter space. So that's definitely something that stands out to me. Also in the kitchen, um, the amount of storage drawers. You know, among the long counter top you have here next to the door, you have six big drawers that can be pulled out. And then you've got even more like down below the oven, a big drawer that pulls out. Just a lot of storage all the way around in this kitchen. So very much something that stands out to me, but it doesn't just limit itself to the kitchen. In the bunk room, you've got nice storage in there. The closet, you've got three drawers that pull out. So really good functional storage for the kids. And for those who are staying with you, they've got their own space to put their things. And then upstairs, you've got some really good storage there around that corner. As you uh, go around the bed, you've got the big closet that opens up and the extra drawers down below. And I like even how they left something open there for you to be able to store shoes and things like that and a little cubby hole that's at the bottom of that storage section in the bedroom. So also what I personally liked was the extra shelving they put above the bed of the uh, headboard of the bed. You've got that extra long shelf that goes around there. You've got plug-ins just really nice again not just the way it looks but the way you can use it's just very functional with uh having that extra place to put your devices to put things to charge and those kind of you know books and what have you you can definitely use that space so those are some things that stood out to me there's a whole lot more i could mention the second ac on a small fifth wheel you got two acs fully ducted separate thermostats i could mention about this trifold sofa the big u-shaped dinette the upgraded refer i mean there's a lot of things that i could talk about but those were a few things that I want to make sure that I say, hey, these things stood out to me the most when I walked in. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video tour. Again, if you haven't yet, please click like and subscribe. And I hope you join us next time for our next RV tour. Have a great day.